Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and we've got a Funko Pop review for you today. We're going to take a look at my Han Solo collection. As you can see, I've got Han from each era. I've got the Han Solo from Solo the movie. Um, obviously young Han, um, we've got Solo from Endor in the original trilogy, uh, looking awesome in the middle, and then we've got Han Solo from Force Awakens uh, in his snow gear, which was a loot crate ex uh, exclusive back in the day, um, but that was a long time ago. Uh, so we're going to jump into the video, do subscribe if you're new to the channel, and leave a like if you enjoy the video. So uh, there will be plenty more on Taylor Pop coming up shortly, so you don't want to miss any of that, I can assure you. Uh, so let's jump into it. So first of all, I mean we've got the three different solos um you know arguably all as cool as each other uh, i mean obviously um han solo in the original trilogy and harrison ford was you know one of a lot of people's favorite um you know uh, favorite characters just because he was that he was that happy go lucky funny um you know gunslinger who he he did mess up and he did get things wrong but he was quite cocky and he did save the day occasionally um but you know he was under his kind of scoundrel um, facade he was you know a, a, a good guy and um, you know a lot of people can kind of resonate with that lovable um, guy who gets it wrong but you know ultimately wants to do the right thing and, and has good in him um, so obviously um, you know Han Solo is uh, an important character in the Star Wars universe and um, you know especially for me I mean I loved um, the original trilogy Han but I mean even Solo in the movie uh, solo. Uh, I think the actor they chose was brilliant. I think his portrayal of of a young Han, a young Han Solo, was fantastic. And to be honest, loads of people gave him stick for it, but um, I, I think he couldn't have done any better. Honestly, he he did a fantastic job. And I mean, even Harrison Ford himself said that the you know the guy was um, you know was perfect. And uh, I mean, what better praise can you get than um, you know from the the very person you're trying to portray? Um, a younger version of um, so I mean you know I think that uh, the solo movie was good I mean you know it wasn't fantastic it wasn't um, you know a uh, a kind of a blockbuster hit like Rogue One was like the Rogue One story is fantastic because it's so dynamic and deep and you know although they kind of prevail they do all sacrifice themselves and, and in solo it's more of a just an insight into a little bit of a backstory behind um, you know where he came up from, and kind of you know where he got his name. Um, you know where where he met Chewie, his first kind of smuggler's run. You know, um, you know you see the the famous Kessel Run scene that he always talks about for years and years to come. So, I think it was a good feel good story um, solo, and it would be interesting to see a Disney um, original series. To be honest, I I think a film would be great too, but I do think that it would translate better to a season of Solo. Because um, you could take him on so many different adventures and meet different characters and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I, I liked the Solo movie personally. Um, I mean, even <clears throat> as you can see on the right, I mean, we've got Han Solo from Force Awakens. And when Harrison Ford came back to you know reprise his role, I think he did a great job. He 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 portrayed Han perfectly again. And even in his older age, he kept the you know he kept the 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 real kind of what is the core of Han Solo without making him you know this old man still trying to desperately hang on to be you know being this um this guy he was he was running his old tricks but you know in his old age is he's, he's running out of people to to swindle and um you know he's still only getting by by the skin of his teeth as always um but you know I, I really liked his role I mean, Harrison Ford himself came out and said that it was, he felt like it was time for him to make the sacrifice in that film, and it was, you know, a really organic way for it to happen. Obviously, we all saw it coming, you know, during the course of that film, but, you know, we, we all watched with bated breath, wanting it to not happen, and, you know, unfortunately, when he dies, it is quite emotional. Um, I mean, hearing Chewie's roar, um, you know, when he loses his best friend, that's like really sad. I mean, no matter who you are. So, um, you know, for some people, the, the, the sequels aren't as you know deep or touching or whatever um, as the originals, and that's fine, um, you know whatever. But I mean, you've got to look at the good and the bad. I mean, Han Solo has been a fantastic character throughout all of the Star Wars stories, in my opinion. And um, yeah, I mean, I wanted some Hans in my collection. I mean, my Star Wars Funko Pop collection is you know is predominantly all my favorite characters or kind of variants of my favorite characters or just really cool looking, um, you know 
characters and stuff like that. So um, I wanted a Han from each era. The the Endor Han is my favourite because you know I love the original trilogy. It's my favourite of all of the the eras in Star Wars. Um, and then I mean I mean you know in Endor um, on Endor rather uh, in Return of the Jedi. You know him in that camo coat and you know him in all of these um, pop variations having his famous blaster. You know looking awesome. Um, I think that Solo. Um, Han is is my second favorite. I just I liked the the young angle, and I thought he was cool. I do think that the third, um, you know, the, the third in the lineup is uh, the Force Awakens Han, and it's not a knock on anything to do with the actual performance. It's more the fact that um, you know of the three characters, he had a more significant role in the in in his you know his previous uh, appearances. Obviously, the original trilogy is very important. Um, you know, very predominant character in Solo. He was obviously <laughs> he was the main character, but um, he had a lot more going on in The Force Awakens. He had a great little um, kind of. It was more of a cameo, really. But I mean, obviously, you can see that that's the 2015 onwards kind of um, sculpt on the right there, where it's you know they're a lot shorter and wider um, in scale, so the body is like a lot stockier. Uh, on the right and that's the only one of the three um, that's from the era where he comes off the base um, and I, uh, I know that you know Star Wars and Funko did come to some sort of agreement of course somewhere where um, they started gluing them on the bases um, as standard and personally I don't like that I, I really liked that you could take the the old figures off of the, the Star Wars base I mean I would keep them on for display and you know I display in box so I would keep the the stand with the figure anyway, but I mean having the ability to take him off of the the stand always was something that I enjoyed and I wanted because you know from a toy photography standpoint you want to do these scenes and not have to hide the base underneath something or use some trickery. Um, so I mean I I personally would really like them to <laughs> to go back to that. I know you can kind of take it off of the base if you really want to, but then you've got to like heat treat your your pop and hope that it's you know it all goes well. So um, you know I, I miss the days when they would come off like that, but you know it's cool too. I mean the base does give it some good presence, and obviously a, a Funko Pop isn't uh, a Funko Pop isn't articulated, so you could argue it's more of a display piece than you know photography. Um, or you know action based anyway but it's just you know something I I would like to see um, you know in terms of Han Solo um, so many great variations of Han but I mean I think these are the three core um, Han Solos from each era that you know they're a great they're a, a great add add to the collection if you get your hands on them I know that Solo on the left I mean I got him at a great price just because the, the movie didn't do as well as, as it, you know it was meant to I suppose um, again on the right it, it was when when you know Luke Crate was kind of um, it, it wasn't that it was sizing down but they were kind of you know outsourcing a lot of their exclusives to people to try and you know move the, the, the dead stock on and um, I got him on a on a good deal because I mean, they started showing up in the hundreds in places like HMV and stuff, um, which is where uh, I used to work in college, actually. So, <laughs> a little tidbit for you. Um, and then Han in the middle. This is part of the newer kind of release of, you know, the re-releases of, you know, Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi and then, um, you know, like uh, the Ewok characters and stuff like that. Like some of them are re-releases, some of them are just original. Um, you know, redesigned, um, which is really cool. Um, so <clears throat> definitely worth a pickup if you can get your hands on them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope it was informative. Um, obviously, these are some great looking pops, and there'll be plenty more Funko Pop reviews and sort of talks uh, coming on the channel. So, like I said, do subscribe and leave a like on this video if you enjoy it, and uh, there'll be plenty more to come. So I'm going to leave you with this one, guys. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.